Hey guys, and welcome back to episode four of Versus. This week we have a special episode because we're going to be talking about one of my favorite bands, The Prodigy. Now, I like this one, so it's going to be extremely interesting. And we're going to actually bring this up to two parts. Now, it all centers around an interesting video I just came across this past week, which is a YouTube video where this person took the song from The Prodigy, Smack My Bitch Up, and he showed all the samples that were used into this. And it's, it's no secret that there were actually a lot of samples put into this. Even the iconic Change My Pitch Up, Smack My Bitch Up is not the actual lyrics done by any of the band members, but in fact is actually from somebody else. Uh, UMC to be precise. And it's interesting to hear all these different ones. It's, it goes over from Cool and the Gang to Rage Against the Machine. So, the part that I want to get into you is a good question of, shall we put it here, we have on one side, is it okay to sample? Now, the question of that is actually a hard one because so many people have done it over time. Sampling is old. I mean, we've seen this done for years and years and years, and I don't think it's ever going to stop, really. But does that actually take away from the artist? Does it make it a lot harder for you to say this person can, is good at what they do because all they're really doing is taking from somebody else's work and making it their own? And in a way, that can be considered to be stealing. And in a way, especially in this way, because it seems as if there's very little actually done by the person. And it's very little done by the band. So with the Prodigy, for example, there were so many different samples done that you actually have to look at this and say, well, very few parts of that song is yours. And you're almost as if, if you decide to take the side of sampling is stealing and sampling is just your own and it's, you know, it, it's, it's you have just taken somebody else's work and made it into you, then now you're saying, well, why are you even that good of an artist? Why are you that acclaimed? Why do people like you that much? You can actually look at them and say that they're nothing more than a thief. But if you look at sampling the way it should be, at least in my opinion, if you look at sampling that way, you look at people and say, well, wait a minute, you're taking a piece of somebody else's work, yeah, but you're also taking it and making it your own. You're not just saying, here, here's the, you know, the riff from, uh, a Black Sabbath song and I'm putting it in a rap beat. No, it, it's you're taking it, you're putting a new spin on it and making it different. And it, it becomes something interesting of that. So that's the question I pose for you today. Do you guys think that sampling is stealing? Or do you think that it's actually just a new form of entertainment and it's actually something different? Now, it all depends on how you've feel about the music itself, and I'm not just talking, by the way, about uh, hip-hop when I talk about that, because hip-hop is known more and more these days for sampling. I'm not just talking about them. They are actually more well-known, but it's everywhere. It's trance, house, rock music actually takes some of the same beats and puts them all together, and the same melodies from other songs puts them into their own thing. So, the question isn't what do you, who does it the most, it's more or less really just what do you feel about that. And even more, I want to actually go with that and I want to take it to this point. Now, you can say that sampling is what it is and what's not, so that's actually part one in now what I want to call part two of this episode. Now, part two, I'm going to say with specifically with the Prodigy here. Now, if you look at that, depending on what side you want to put this on, now, it's no secret that they've sampled. They've made it very, very well known that all of the stuff, a lot of the stuff, I'm not going to say all of it, because actually some of it they did put and mix with the programs that they used. But it's a question now of what do you think? Does this take away from them? Because a lot of the comments that I saw in this video that I'm talking about, which, by the way, I will link also, I will put in the sidebar or a link somewhere else to, on my own site or whatever I'm going to put. But the question is no longer 
did they sample? It's if you feel they've sampled, are they less? Because now you're saying if you say that sampling is wrong, then you're saying that they were wrong for it, so they're less of an artist. Because that was actually something interesting. Uh, there was a comment, there was two comments that I saw when I first saw this video that I would like to bring up. Uh, one person had said, wow, this is very disappointing because I, I love the Prodigy and, and to see this, uh, you know, to know that they've sampled all this really hurts me. And then one person was quick to defend that saying, that's as if talking about Mozart and Beethoven and saying that they're not good enough artists because they're, we're not physically using that. And now you become even harder to say. So, is the Prodigy wrong for this? So, that's what I asked for you today in this questionnaire in versus it's a two-parter episode. Sorry, I had to do it. It was that important. So, first part is, is it sampling, is sampling wrong or is it okay? And part two, is the Prodigy uh, right for being a sampling artist? Were they okay to do this or are they just hacks and underrated now because of this? Uh, leave your interesting comments and uh, responses below. I would love to hear about you guys. I would want to hear everything. And stay tuned for more uh, verses and also from other productions that I will be doing from the My Head Hurts production team. We have a lot more coming up in the few weeks and I'm looking forward to it. So let me know. I'm looking forward to all of your responses and I will talk to you guys another day.